here at Premier Guns with me Matt Morgan and today we're going to look at uh, an ATA but this time we're going to look at a 20 gauge. Now what's quite important to remember with ATA is that mechanically the models don't differ. Okay so this is the basic model, um, mechanical trigger, multi-choke, steel shot proof as all the ATAs are. Comes in I think just over sort of 600 pounds of value for money it's absolutely superb because not only is it a bit more practical than the coughs with it being the, the steel action frame, it's also not a lot more money. For me, this is the perfect compromise between a very lightweight alloy action gun like a cough or a yield, it's or something like that, and a heavier browning style action which can come in at about sort of seven pounds in a 20 gauge. This one here is the SP Black, which is their sort of basic no frills model. Gloss barrels on the game version, uh, matte black action, you know, Turkish walnut of a, of a fairly basic grade, gold trigger, etc., etc., auto safety. Comes in at sort of six and a half, six, ten in terms of weight. So for me, ideal for someone who perhaps a teenager or a lady just looking to start off. Avoid this kind of alloy action guns if you're going to shoot quite a lot of clays because of the recoil and because of the, the lack of control that a, a lighter gun will give you. So good medium weight and again going back to the, the lady and the youth thing, it's got a mechanical trigger which is great because it means you can shoot subsonics, there's no problems with the inertia for recocking the second shot. So 21 grams, subsonics, no problem at all. This is the, the first foray into the small gauges for ATA. I've no doubt we might see a 28 or even a 410 in the, in the next couple of years. But, um, but for now, 20 bought, still very popular uh, with game shooters, with clay shooters, with everybody really, because the advancement in cartridges is such that today you can use a 20 gauge for pretty much anything. So we're like an elderly gentleman who's been shooting 12 bores and now just wants something a bit lighter to carry about. Something like this, this kind of money, is fantastic. There's not a lot more else I can say really. It's got standard dimension, quite on the low side to be fair, stock. I believe this one's 3860, which is what Berettas used to be probably 10 years ago which is a bit low, so in many cases I would expect if we were supplying one of these to a lady or a junior, we would have to put an adjustable comb on it. In terms of stock length, uh, 40 and three quarters. Again, probably a little bit long if you're looking at a lady or a junior, but for most people, it's sort of a standard sort of industry stock length, which is absolutely fine. Of course, here at Premier Guns, we've got an on-time independent gunsmith. We can shorten it, lengthen it, do whatever we need to do to make sure that the fit is right. Okay, so the 20 gauge uh, is available in the, the black SP and also the nickel. But for somebody that wants something a bit prettier, there is there are options. So at the same price point as the black, you've got the nickel, um, which is, is quite a popular model. It's, n it's not my favourite. I think the black looks a bit sleeker. But the nickel, you know, does uh, does still sell, and we it is available in 20 gauge. And then uh, you move up on the non side plated models to the silver line Groly thing, which is nice. And with that, you will of course get an upgrade in your Turkish walnut. This particular model has got a very nice piece of wood on it. Moving up again is the elegant gold pheasant in the spaghetti wooden butt plate, which I think sets it off really nice really nice woodwork because the price point is under a thousand it's just a clear clear winner and then going up again um, in the side plate you've got the recently introduced avant-garde model this has got the again the sort of gray action a bit like the silver line and um, with these nice little gold flecks in the scroll really nice looking again you get an upgrade on the wood and one thing I do want to point out is, as you can see, we're making examples here, we're actually using 12 gauge guns, is the, the 20 gauge is only available in a game specification, which means they will all have gloss barrels, which personally I think is nicer. Um, I think it sets the gun off well, makes it look a lot more expensive than they actually are. The matte finish is fine on the sporters, but like I say, I think on the game, the, um, the gloss is a better option. As with all ATAs, 
you get a warranty, you get some multi chokes. Um, they are steel shot proof, which I keep banging on about, but it's such such an important part of shooting going forward. And again, as with all ATAs, we have got demos here at Premier Guns. Come down, try a 20 bore, 